here tonight. Tonight's seniors are participating in the 40th commencement exercise in the history of Vanguard. It's a warm evening, but it's beautiful, and we're glad that you're here to help us celebrate the accomplishments of this year's senior class. Please join me in a round of applause for the Vanguard Band under the direction of Ms. Liz Short. At this time, I invite you to stand with me as the Vanguard High School faculty leads the procession for the class of 2010. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the playing of the national anthem.
Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you to our Junior Navy ROTC for the presentation of the colors. I would now like to introduce some dignitaries who have joined me on the stage for this evening's ceremony. I ask that they stand as they are introduced. Marion County School Board Member, Ms. Jacqueline Porter. Marion County Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Jim Yancey. Vanguard Assistant Principal of Curriculum, Mrs. Cindy Rep. Vanguard Assistant Principal of Instruction, Mrs. Dawn Mobley. Vanguard Assistant Principal of Discipline, Mrs. Janet Cruz. In addition to these people, there are several seated on the floor of the auditorium that I would like to ask to recognize and ask them to stand. IB Director, Graduation Coordinator, and Co-Senior Class Sponsor, Mrs. Melissa Joyner. <laughs> Student Activity Director, Athletic Director, Graduation Coordinator, and Co-Senior Sponsor, Mrs. Paige Zadnick. <laughs> Senior Guidance Counselor, Mr. Christian Amate. Senior Guidance Counselor, Mrs. Jan Rain. <laughs> Joining us this evening in the stands are families of the valedictorians and salutatorian. I ask that they stand and be recognized as they are introduced. Parents of valedictorian Nadia Kakodkar, Dr. Sarexa and Pravina Kakodkar. Parents of valedictorian Mary Scott Kane, Dr. John and Dr. Carolyn Kane. <laughs> Parents of valedictoria Trisha Khanna, Dr. Dinesh and Seema Khanna. <laughs> Parents of valedictorian Cameron Savarsi, Dr. Mosin and Dr. Faith Safarasi. Parents of Auditorian Rachel Tift, Mr. and Mrs. Scott, and Teresa Tift. And parents of Salutatorian Ishana Shetty, Dr. J, and Dr. Mangala Shetty. I know the class of 2010 will agree that all those introduced to this, this evening have been important to their lives in this point. However, there is one other group that has a major influence, which I'm sure the graduates would like to recognize. Students and friends, please join me in a round of applause as I ask the faculty of Vanguard High School to stand and be recognized. Thank you so much for your hard work and your dedication to these young people. Seniors, let's take a few moments now and turn the spotlight to you, since this is why we're gathered here tonight. Many years ago, you started your formal education and brought home all sorts of items that you made at school. I'm sure that some of them ended up on the coffee table, others may have ended up on the living room wall, or at least on the refrigerator. You were so proud of the accomplishments you made as you progressed through elementary and middle school. And then in the fall of 2006, most of you arrived at Vanguard High School and life has never been the same. As I look back at the 2006 and 2007 yearbook, I found pictures dedicated to that year's freshman week. What I found were faces that looked similar to the ones that I now see sitting before me. They looked young, innocent, and excited, and you could tell they had places to go, things to do, and people to meet. A lot has transpired since those pictures were taken so early in your high school career. You have experienced so many wonderful things and probably some that weren't quite so wonderful, but you took each in stride and added to your portfolio of life. Now, here you sit, having completed one of the more important chapters of your life. Your senior picture certainly looks similar to those of your freshman year, but we can all see the maturity that has taken place. Because we all know you so well, we also know how, how the experiences of the last four years 
have transformed you into adults who are ready for the next challenges of life. Your friends and families are very proud of the progress that you have made. In fact, I'm sure that some of you will continue to find items on the refrigerator from your life experiences. Cherish them as you continue on your path on this thing called life. You have tremendous potential, and I am confident that the world will be in good hands. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, let me share some statistics about this magnificent class. There are 329 graduates, 151 boys, 178 girls. 194 of them have maintained at least a 3.0 grade point average and will be graduating tonight with honors. Fifty-four graduates of that 194 have a GPA between 3.0 and 3.499. These students are wearing white cords to signify this accomplishment. I ask that these 54 students please stand and be recognized. Thank you so much. Another 63 graduates have a GPA between 3.5 and 3.999, and they will be graduating with high honors. These students are wearing red cords. Will these 63 students now stand and be recognized? Thank you very much. And 77 graduates have a GPA between 4.0 and 5.0. These students will be graduating with highest honors. These students are wearing a white stole with their gown. With those 77 students graduating with high honors, please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. Thank you. We have six of our graduates tonight that have made straight A's in high school. 257 of them will further their education at a college of their choice. 107 of these will begin their education at a four-year university. These graduates have earned over $3.7 million in scholarship offers. 18 of our graduates will be serving our country by entering the armed forces. Employers in the stands tonight, we even had two students, Kevin Brown and Jordan Hart, who had perfect attendance throughout their entire high school career. And finally, a statistic that I think says volumes about this class. They have achieved over 19,000 hours of community service to our community. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I think the Vanguard class of 2010 deserves a huge round of applause. At this time, I would like you to meet some examples of the quality that is found in this class. Each year, the Leon Rogers Award is presented to two deserving students. The award is named in honor of the first principal of Vanguard High School and is usually awarded by Mr. Rogers himself. However, he wanted to attend his 50th high school reunion in Kentucky this weekend, so we told him we would give him an excused absence for this year. Presenting the honor, the award in his absence will be Mrs. Cindy Rep. Thank you, Mr. Lankford. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Chad Duncan and Ms. Michelle Gagnon to the stage, please. Each year, the Leon Rogers Award of Academic Excellence recognizes two students for their outstanding achievement and success throughout their years at Vanguard High School. 
It is my honor and privilege to present Chad Duncan and Michelle Gagnon as this year's recipients of this pre prestigious award. Chad is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Michael Duncan. He is graduating with a GPA of 4.54. He will attend the College of Central Florida next year and then plans on attending the University of Florida. His plans include majoring in computer science and becoming a computer programmer. Michelle is the daughter of Mr. Alpage Gagnon and Ms. Clara Hawks. She is graduating with a GPA of 4.56. Michelle will attend the Central College of Florida, plans on majoring in nursing and becoming a nurse. Congratulations, Chad and Michelle, for your academic success and achievements at Vanguard High School. Thank you, Mrs. Rep, and congratulations, Michelle and Chad. Vanguard always appreciates the support and generosity of Mr. Rogers, and we look forward to his return next year. Class of 2010, it is now time for some of your peers to address you. Delivering the salutatorian address this year is Ishana Shetty. Ishana has attained a salutatory GPA of 4.9791. Upon graduation, Ishana will be attending the University of Florida. Good evening, Knights and families of Knights. I just want to begin by saying congratulations to the class of 2010. We have made it so far, and it feels amazing to sit here and celebrate our achievements together. I know I could have never accomplished what I have today without the guidance provided for me by my wonderful mother and father. And I'm 100% certain that I would have gone crazy in high school if not for the support of some incredible friends. When we now reflect on these past four years, we can see a clear picture of what high school really was. The late nights, whether for schoolwork or not, the multitude of friendships formed, the diversity of challenges overcome. We have achieved so much. But now, as we sit here celebrating our triumphs, we also face our future. Four years ago, all of our futures were high school. We were freshmen, faced with the wonders of a teenage jungle. High school, I'm sure, has gone by as quickly for you as it did for me. But we are all marked by a certain change. This change is the sole proof we have of the four years spent at Vanguard High School. For some, this change could be something as simple as a growth spurt. But for the majority of us, this change is more than just physical. Gone are the days when getting to school on time was up to our parents. We are responsible and independent. Gone are the days when we were referred to as kids. We are mature and sophisticated. Gone are the days when important news consisted of who was wearing what. We are savvy and erudite. Now our paths diverge. Some of us are leaving the class of 2010 to enter the class of 2014. Others are moving straight into the chaos of the real world. Whatever the case may be, we are moving forward, armed with the education of the finest teachers in the land. We face our future with the best that was given to us. The support and guidance of our parents and teachers has provided us with a strong foundation from which we can spring forward and soar high. Yes, the future seems immense and indefinite, but I promise you that there will still be late nights and strong friendships, and a variety of challenges. Our futures, too, will be marked by change. My hope is that you have the courage to embrace your challenges rather than avoid them. Life is everything we make it. I know the class of 2010 will make life everything it can be and more. Thank you. Thank you, Ashana. Very nice words. Next, we will have the valedictorian's address. To determine this honor, a grade point average is calculated to the 10,000th place. This year, five students attained a perfect GPA 
according to the valedictory formula. Speaking first will be Nadia Kakodkar. Nadia attained a perfect 5.0000 GPA and will be attending the University of Florida. Welcome, Nadia. Graduates of the decade, family, friends, and faculty, I'll try my best to keep this short. While I was thinking of what I could tell you tonight, I received some suggestions. Some were helpful, and some were a bit inappropriate. Regardless, I realized that each one of you could stand here and spew words of wisdom based on your experience. However, seeing as how long that would take, I'll try my best to suffice in summing up what I've learned. I've learned to listen more. Life is hectic, and it's easy to get lost in it. That's to be expected. However, being able to listen will keep you grounded in the craze. Listen to your parents. They've been there, and they've done that, maybe even twice. Listen to your teachers. Allegedly, they're supposed to be able to teach you something. Listen to your friends because they care enough to tell you whatever it is in the first place. Most importantly, listen to yourself. Let your heart speak uninterrupted. It knows you more than you realize. I've learned two reasons not to be afraid of failure. To start, the person that pays the most attention to your mistakes is yourself. The many times you thought your world had ended, it didn't. However, it will hardly be existent if you ever stop trying. Number two, death is inevitable. I don't mean this morbidly at all. It puts your life into perspective. All fear of disappointment, embarrassment, and humiliation is brushed away, uncovering what truly matters most. Ironically, the acknowledgement of death can give rise to bravery. I've learned to look at success differently from when I was younger. I thought success meant being wealthy, powerful, and famous. But over the years, my definition has changed. Success is living your life with integrity. If you can't even be honest with yourself, who do you have left? I think if in 60 years you can look at your hands and smile at what they've created, that's success. So don't get hung up on the glitz and the glam. As appealing as they may seem, they are but dust in the big scheme of things. If you were to take anything from this speech, let it be this. Do not be indifferent to this world. We have more power than we realize, and I ask you to use it wisely. We are a generation in a time of war, famine, and disease. The unfortunate matter is that generations before us have experienced this, and generations after us will as well. I have learned this year the importance of balance. We must provide that balance. We must be the good that counters the destruction. As I've read and heard many times this year, Jimmy Buffett once said, we are the people our parents warned us about. Well, Mr. Buffett, we are also the people the future will look to. Thank you. Now we will hear from Mary Scott Kane. Mary Scott also earned a perfect 5.0 GPA and will be attending Dartmouth College. Welcome, Mary Scott. How many of you have received graduation cards describing bright new futures, thrilling possibilities, and the next adventure of your lives? Every time I see one, I counter, what adventure? Are they talking about the next four years of sitting in a classroom or entry-level jobs? Although both present us with new challenges, note-taking and clocking in are not adventures. They require no courage. Apparently, I'm still holding on to my childish dreams of swinging through jungles and soaring past New York's skyline. However, I still believe we desire adventure that pumps adrenaline through our veins and fervor that keeps sleep from our eyes. Tragically, 
Our culture cons us into believing adventure is the stuff of fairy tales. Unrealistic. Every time a sprig of aspiration breaks through our consciousness, we can feel society's ridicule. That cynicism will starve us of our humanity. In high school, I learned one life-altering truth. So here it is. The closest we will ever get to adventure is to love courageously. I'm not talking about the flimsy, I heart you notes, the silly feeling that makes you blush, or my secret adoration for Gavin Ramaswamy. But instead, love that involves sacrifice and perseverance. I am floored by the living examples of love around me. Every Tuesday for the past 10 years, my, my aunt and uncle baked cookies for students separated from their parents. Last month, our classmates raised $4,000 for Haitians without running water. And a friend of mine squeezes joy into every new person she meets with a big bear hug. That love walks and breathes. The book, Do Hard Things, urges us to do things that are outside of our comfort zones, things that go beyond what is expected or required, things that are too big to be accomplished alone, and things that don't earn immediate payoff, and things that challenge the cultural norm. Now be cautioned, there will be resistance. Society says our acts of compassion are not feasible, but we must love anyway. Society retorts, it will not make a difference. However, we have the ability to impact hundreds of lives. Never surrender to cynicism. You may jeopardize your social life when you befriend an outcast. You may rally for human rights only to be thrown in jail. You may risk your own financial security to help out a young parent. That is adventure. So my challenge to the class of 2010 is this. Don't settle for a diploma and a paycheck. Love courageously. Our third valedictorian is Trisha Kana. As did the other two, Trisha also attained a 5.0 GPA. She will be receiving her education at the University of Central Florida. So, at 2.30 in the morning, in the typical procrastinating high school student manner, even after high school was over, I was sitting completely perplexed as to what I was going to say today. While my family and I sat together, staring at the page, wondering what to say, it dawned on me what a driving force my family has been in my life. They have supported, encouraged, and have been by my side in attaining various goals, however big or small. From walking on my chubby little legs for the first time to the most recent accomplishment of graduating high school. So, to them I'd like to give a shout out and tell them, Mommy, Daddy, and Rohan, thank you and this honor is as much as yours as it is mine. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie, the past four years have been rigorous and frankly, kick butt. All those late night homeworks and study sessions interspersed with Family Guy and Facebook. The pulling all-nighters only to not wake up in the morning for school. Mrs. Joyner and Mr. Langford can attest to all those tardies. As can Vanguard's teachers, who are so dedicated that they will even call you on your cell phones to ask where you are. But despite the hard work, this time has also been one of the most enjoyable periods of our lives. I stand here, looking at all those familiar faces, thinking, where did the time go? I remember as little freshmen getting hurled into the sea of high school from our little schools, feeling completely out of depth. But somehow, we all learn how to swim, flourish, and, and achieve success. Speaking of success, what would you consider to be your def definition of success? Unless you have a clear vision of what success is to you, you cannot work to achieve it. For me, success is looking out into the crowd and seeing the people who love me with pride glimmering in their eyes. One day, my mother told her lethargic 10-year-old daughter that the next 10 years of education would shape the next 50 years of her life. Her words have reverberated in my mind all those interminable instances at 3.30 in the morning while trying to figure out the jumbled maze of Mr. Sauer's calculus problems while editing that TOK essay for the seventh time while cramming for those overly comprehensive biology tests of Ms. Wade's and history tests of Mr. Kent. Even while reciting and um, Senora Baker's Spanish orals. At the time, I would wonder what prompted these teachers to be so cruel as they inundated us with tests and homework assignment after homework assignment. But now, 
we can see how fruitful their and our efforts have been as we stand here before the world today. So to all Vanguard's teachers, I'd like to give a warm thanks. We wouldn't be here without you. I'm also here to encourage all of you to continue striving for excellence. We must keep in mind that judgments and pressures are as pervasive outside of high school as they are in them. Always try to triumph over a new evil or reach a new goal. Whatever that goal may be, whether it's on a large worldwide scale or whether it's just a simple personal aspiration. Robert F. Kennedy had said, few will have the greatness to bend history itself, but each of us can work to change a small per portion of events and in the total of all those acts will be written the history of this generation. As recently brought to my attention by my buddy, Mr. Karsten, John Mayer had said, one day our generation will rule the population. Considering that we have these substantial years of high school ed education behind us, we might as well use them to make our lives full of, of adventure and success as we demolish any roadblocks in the way. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2010. Thank you, Tricia. Number four of this very select group of students is Cameron Safarazi. With the aforementioned 5.0, Cameron will be furthering his education at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Hello, everybody. In addition to string theory and entropy and many other concepts that would make Mr. Karsten quiver, my dad has taught me things that I can learn from no other source. Although I do not exemplify each lesson in my everyday life, I am familiar with what I have learned, and with your permission, I would like to share my experiences with you. Of all the mistakes I have made and all the consequential lessons I have learned, nothing has been more essential to my life than the necessity of respect. It makes life happier, more enjoyable, and relatively easier. Respect will keep you in check. It will remind you that you are not obsolete. Your life is imperfect, but so is everything else. Make the most of what you've got, because the better you take care of the little stuff, the big stuff just seems much more invaluable. First, respect your parents. Whether holding you since the day you were born or making sure you have enough food to eat, they love you. There comes a time in life when one has to decide whether he or she wants children. So be glad they thought it wouldn't be a bad idea. Think of all the hard times that you've had in your life, all of the struggles, the fights, the frustrating inabilities to express yourself. And just think, your parents have already dealt with it. They know they have much to share, so please listen to them. Next, respect your teachers. They have chosen to be candles, meant to melt away with bring, while bringing light to others. They dedicated themselves to teach you, and in some cases, to help raise you. My teachers are my best friends, and it would be scary to imagine them as anything else. Whether it is watching Seinfeld with Mr. Kent, listening to the Beatles with Mr. Hare, or reading short stories with Mrs. Joyner, I see my teacher's enthusiasm just to be around insightful students. You couldn't ask for better teachers at Vanguard. I wouldn't even bother trying. The next group of people may be the most important simply because it can apply to anyone. With the numerous amounts of hours spent gathering at Kozak's house, that's Coco if you know him well enough, hanging around band practices, or whatever else I do in my abundant spare time, uh, I have learned to respect my friends. I now see what Lennon and McCartney were talking about in all of their songs. Friends keep you sane while going a little insane themselves. Just ask mine. I love you all, and thank you for putting up with me. Finally, your entire life will be meaningless and empty unless you learn to respect yourself. In our universe of incomprehensible size, we know that life is spontaneous and could end at any time. We know that we are mere figures and come and go while our planet exists for billions of more years. However, we also learn from Gandhi that whatever you do will be insignificant, but it is very important that you do it, simply because nobody else will. Don't fall victim to stress, doubt, or contemplation. They will eat you alive. Don't hold back and save your heart for what calls for it. With that, I leave you with a word of advice from our friend Ralph Waldo Emerson. To laugh often and love much. 
to win the respect of intelligent persons and the affection of children, to earn the approbation of honest citizens and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to give of oneself, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to have played and laughed with enthusiasm and sung with exultation, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Congratulations, Class of 2010. Our fifth valedictorian is Rachel Tift. Rachel also earned the 5.0 and will be heading to the University of Florida to begin her college career. Good evening. On behalf of my classmates, the graduating class of 2010, I would like to thank our families, friends, and teachers for being here to celebrate our success. All of us here tonight know that we, the students, are the Vanguard Knights. But have you ever really thought about who the Knights were or what the word Vanguard means? Let's start with the Knights. The word Knights brings to mind suits of armor, swords, and shields. These things all relate to battle but have little to do with the men behind the shiny exterior. History tells us that Knights strove to be not only fierce warriors, but also exemplary individuals. They were courageous, bold, loyal, and strong. They trained long and hard to perfect their skills and prided themselves on their sense of fairness and belief in justice. Although we may not wear armor or wield weapons, no one can deny that we too are knights. Our teachers and parents have guided us in our training to mature into exemplary individuals for which we are extremely grateful. During our four years at Vanguard, our goal has been to acquire the same outstanding qualities which set the knights of old apart from the masses. Like these medieval knights, our character will distinguish us as we take our place in society. The word Vanguard has several definitions, the first being the leading or foremost division of an army. For those of us with a military career lying ahead, this definition may be the most applicable. However, I prefer the following definition. Vanguard, the leaders of any intellectual or political movement. As we enter adulthood and discover our various vocations, we should always remember this. We are a vanguard. It is now time for us to go into the world and be the leaders we have been trained to be. Through our education, we have been prepared to be the movers and shakers of tomorrow. We have been taught to lead by example, and we have been encouraged to display integrity and justice in all aspects of our lives. As we continue to learn through educational opportunities and life experiences, we will gain skills that will enable us to improve the world in which we live, as well as the lives of the people around us. So no matter where your life takes you, stay true to who you are, a Vanguard Knight. Thank you. Please join me in giving each of our speakers a very fine round of applause. The time has now arrived to recognize the accomplishment of our individual seniors. In consideration for the dignity of this part of the program and to allow appropriate recognition of each of the graduates, we ask that you refrain from sustained applause until all diplomas have been presented. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. At this time, I will ask the valedictorians and salutatorian to lead the class of 2010 for the presentation of diplomas.
2010 Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Nadia Sirex Katakur. 2010 Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Mary Scott Kane. 2010 Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Trisha Kana. 2010 Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Cameron Mosen Safarazi. 2010 Vanguard High School valedictorian, graduating with highest honors, Rachel Deanna Tift. 2010 Vanguard High School salutatorian, graduating with highest honors, Ishana Prema Shetty. Dalton R. Lee Abney. Brandon James Adcock. Javante Takia Aspira. Graduating with highest honors, Catherine Renee Allen. Osvaldo Cassiano Almeida. Graduating with high honors, Gustavo Almeida Lajavi. Graduating with highest honors, Fablia and Barr. Graduating with highest honors, Mary Lee Andruskevich. Graduating with high honors, Aaron Michael Ashburn. Graduating with high honors, John Norman Askevold. Graduating with highest honors, Nora Lynn Baragdar. Graduating with highest honors, Austin Clay Baker. Graduating with highest honors, Alyssa Catherine Ball. Jeremiah Clinton Balzer. Graduating with high honors, James Harold Beaver. Adriana Nikita Bell. Graduating with highest honors, Justin Bray Bellcase. Joseph Beltran. Jasmine Roche Bethea. Melinda Rochelle Bixler. Graduating with high honors, Danielle Nicole Birma. Demontre Drantail Billups. Graduating with highest honors, William Edward Blaze. Christopher Eric Vanilla. Graduating with highest honors, Dustin David Borth. Graduating with highest honors, Kate Jacqueline Boyle. Graduating with high honors, Sosha Marie Bowsman. Graduating with highest honors, Devin Thomas Brazil. Brittany Nicole Brewer. Michael Anthony Bridges. Graduating with high honors, Brooke Elizabeth Braslett. Ashley Renee Brown. Graduating with high honors, Calla Gregory Brown. Graduating with highest honors, Kevin Eric Brown. Graduating with highest honors, Carly Nicole Bruce. Ethan Patrick Brueger. Graduating with high honors, Seul Bruno. Graduating with highest honors, Ashley Rebecca Budzinski. Graduating with honors, Danielle Nicole Bullman. Graduating with honors, Leo Dijon Burgess. Alexandra Rose Louise Burke. Cheyenne Wayne Burnham. Graduating with high honors, Amanda Nicole Calloway. Graduating with highest honors, Rebecca Jane Canfield. Graduating with honors, Alicia Nicole Carl. William Antonio Castro. Graduating with honors, Amanda Gwen Clanton. Blake Douglas Clark. 
Graduating with honors, Courtney Michelle Clark. Brittany Bo Clemens. Shaquita Chanel Colbert. Graduating with highest honors, Rebecca Ann Colley. Graduating with high honors, Molly Suzanne Caldwell. Graduating with high honors, Summer Dawn Condon. Graduating with honors, Stephen Andrew Convasori. Graduating with highest honors, Jack Warren Cromwell. Graduating with high honors, Alicia Nicole Dancero. Jeremy Cantrell Davis. Krista Jean Deaton. Graduating with highest honors, Hannah Elizabeth Deese. Desiree Shanae DeVoe. Graduating with honors, Brianna Margaret De Maria. Joshua Andrew Dobbs. Graduating with highest honors, Kiran Hemat Doshi. Graduating with high honors, Jordan Ashley Driggers. Graduating with honors, Caitlin Marie Drummett. Carly Dale Dukes. Graduating with highest honors, Parker Allen Duncy. Graduating with high honors, Jacob Alexander Duncan. Graduating with highest honors, Chad Michael Duncan. Samantha Marie DuPont. Graduating with honors, Jennifer Duque. Samantha Darcel Dutton. Graduating with highest honors, David Joseph Ernest. Adrian Lamar Edmondson, Jr. Dyron Rick Edwards. Tomas Estrada. Nicholas Vance Faircloth. Graduating with highest honors, Kareem Fakuri. Tyler Gaines Federick. Joshua William Fernandez. Katie Elizabeth Feeback. Aaron Shante Fort. Graduating with high honors, Jennifer Marie Fleenar. Graduating with honors, Jamira Nicole Franklin. Graduating with high honors, Chelsea Nicole Fouracre. Stacia Jacquees Danielle Federick. Tanya Nicole Franklin. Graduating with high honors, Karan Digvijay Gaikwad. Graduating with highest honors, Caitlin Elizabeth Fuller. Graduating with high honors, Jordan Taylor Geating. Graduating with highest honors, Michelle Lynn Gagnon. Graduating with highest honors, Kelly Ann Gibbs. Graduating with high honors, Victoria Gabrielle Gentry. Cortez Bernard Gillings. Jasmine Shereel Gillings. Antonio Lamar Gordon, Jr. Graduating with honors, Sherelle Tanique Gillings. Graduating with high honors, Michael Thomas Grissom. Mindy Marie Goebel. Graduating with honors, Kaylin Marie Gulick. Graduating with high honors, Stephen Michael Grabe. Kevin Michael Hackler. Luis 
Enrique Gadava. Graduating with high honors, Courtney Ryan Hall. Christy LaShawn Guyton. Graduating with high honors, Christian Drake Harbader. Graduating with high honors, Ann Monroe Haynes. Eddie George Harris, Jr. Graduating with high honors, Christopher Adam Hamill. Graduating with high honors, Jordan Javante Constantine Hart. Hello. Justin Alexander Harper. Jeremy Scott Head. Ashley Brooke Harrison. Graduating with highest honors, Avery Scott Henry. Bradley Austin Hartwell. Graduating with high honors, Shelby Ann Herman. Graduating with high honors, Sierra Amber Nicole Heeman. Lahandra Lachey Hillard. Graduating with high honors, Robert Edward Herbert. Ashley Michelle Honor. Graduating with honors, Tara Marie Hebert. Graduating with highest honors, Cassandra Marie Hottenstein. Graduating with high honors, Jennifer Elizabeth Heiser. Graduating with highest honors, Caitlin Renee Howell. Graduating with high honors, Anne Marie Zara Hopp. Graduating with honors, Terrence Jermaine Isaac. Barbara Jean Houchins. Adavian Jakari Jackson. Ashley Tatilia Hilton. Graduating with high honors, Aaron Nicole Jacobs. Graduating with highest honors, Riza Itani. Sorry. Tyrell Cordero Jenkins. Adrian Marco Jackson. Graduating with high honors, Brian Francis Johnson. Graduating with honors, Aaliyah Renika James. Frank Charles Johnson, Jr. Antonio Richard Johnson. Graduating with honors, Ashlyn Chandel Jones. Shaniqua LaShawn Johnson. Graduating with honors, Lamar Richard Kiner. Graduating with highest honors, Pearl Brittany Johnson. Graduating with highest honors, Stephen Kyle Kirkland. Samantha Wilson Kelly. Graduating with honors, Curtis John Cranack. Graduating with high honors, Tyler Brandon Kinney. Graduating with honors, Michael Andrew Kurtz. Graduating with highest honors, Justin Stephen Kozak. Graduating with honors, Alicia Nicole Landry. Kirsten Marie Kropenak. Alan James Layfield, Jr. Graduating with highest honors, Alexander Michael Landry. Madeline Joy Lefebvre. Graduating with high honors, John Robert Laws. Graduating with honors, Victor Joseph Liberty V. Graduating with highest honors, Induk Paula Lee. Graduating with high honors, Christopher Michael Lindsay. Philip Joseph Liberty. Graduating with honors, Julia Christine Lucente. Graduating with highest honors, Virginia Ann Lydell. 
graduating with highest honors, Brianne Eleanor Manning. <laughs> graduating with high honors, Wait, Heidi Giovanni, Danielle right? Louder. Okay. Giovanni Andres Mastrogiani. Graduating with highest honors, Christine Marie Manisterski. Graduating with high honors, Mitchell Kyle McClary. Graduating with highest honors, Garen Manugian. Graduating with honors, Clayton Scott McCullough. Charles James Matkovich, Jr. Graduating with high honors, Lindsay Ann McDonald. Artisha Shabrice McRae. Graduating with honors, Amanda Marie McGee. Graduating with highest honors, Jessica Lynn McCullough. Graduating with honors, Cody James McGrew. Graduating with honors, Ashley Nicole McFadden. Graduating with highest honors, Sachis Kapish Mehta. Graduating with high honors, Max Murphy McGillicuddy. Andre Mendez. Graduating with highest honors, Lara Alyssa McGuire. Graduating with highest honors, Caitlin Renee Messer. Stephen Anthony Melendez. Graduating with high honors, Shelly Mittal. Graduating with high honors, Doralis Mendez. Emily Ann Mona. Graduating with highest honors, Christina Rose Miller. Nikel Andrew Mondeser. Graduating with honors, Jeannie Lynn Mitten. Santana Jamika Moran. Jean Marie Mona. Graduating with highest honors, Shane Michael Morris. Graduating with high honors, Stephen Alexander Montgomery. Stormy Crystal Neal. Graduating with highest honors, Kristen Aaron Moreau. Joshua Caleb Nunn. Kyle Michael Muzzy. Graduating with honors, Isaiah Ortiz. Graduating with honors, Jordan Christine Nearling. Megan Pace. Graduating with high honors, Michael David Orr. Graduating with highest honors, Shavam Dilip Patel. Graduating with honors, Laura Otero. Gary Joseph Peck. Graduating with highest honors, Priya Patel. Jay Perez. Graduating with highest honors, Irvi Dipuk Patel. Graduating with highest honors, Ryan Christopher Phillips. Graduating with high honors, Ethan Daniel Pendergraf. Lindsay Renee Potter. Graduating with highest honors, Victoria Grace Petrie. Mary Evelyn Presley. Graduating with high honors, Reginald Antonio Ponder. Graduating with high honors, Joshin Pumerol. Graduating with honors, Marvin Maurice Presley. Graduating with highest honors, Sam Michael Radens. Ruth Marie Presley. Graduating with high honors, Lacey Renee Ratliff. Taylor Ashley Quimby. Graduating with high honors, Thomas William Redding, Jr. Graduating with high honors, Gavin Thomas Ramaswamy. 
Graduating with highest honors, Amber Lynn Recinto. Graduating with honors, Shamika Nicole Rawls. Graduating with honors, Angel Pauline Richards. Kedrick Jermaine Rhodes. Graduating with highest honors, Gavin Alexander Riley Morales. Ashley Lynn Rice. Graduating with highest honors, Matthew Thomas Rodriguez. Graduating with highest honors, Melissa Nicole Reed. Graduating with high honors, Christopher Allen Ross. Mikhail Jamar Roberts. Graduating with high honors, Craig Ryan Russell. Christian Michael Roberts. Rodriguez, sorry. Quinton Jonathan Sachs. Megan Starr Rogers. Graduating with high honors, Scott Michael Schaub. Laquandra Rache Rushing. <laughs> Chloe Elena Sellers. Shelby Lynn Russell. Catherine Ann Shaw. Graduating with honors, Jose Antonio Sanchez. Graduating with highest honors, Nicole Renee Sherman. Graduating with highest honors, Andrew Edward Scharfschwert. Graduating with high honors, Emily Ann Short. Chelsea Lamarian Scott. Graduating with highest honors, Marquisio Jamel Simmons. Graduating with honors, Whitney Brooke Sellers. Graduating with honors, Brandon Wayne Singletary. Sherelle Yvette Shaw. Graduating with honors, Vito Anthony Sisto. Graduating with honors, Janish Anika Claire Shirley. Graduating with highest honors, Deontay Javon Smith. Graduating with high honors, Alan Michael Sierra. Sean Allen Smith. Frank. Jessica Lois Simpson. Frank John Sparago. Demetria Joanne Singleton. Graduating with honors, Matthew Ryan Spencer. Graduating with high honors, Stacy Marie Skerritt. Graduating with high honors, Cody Ryan Spiva. Graduating with honors, Kia Smith. Tarvis Tromaine Stanley. Graduating with honors, Mariah Gasmin Soler. James Eugene Stewart, Jr. Graduating with honors, Crystal Lynn Spencer. Graduating with honors, Jillian Rose Taub. Stephen Wayne Spencer. William McKinley Taylor, Jr. Nicholas Brody Stanforth. Takaya Tiara Terrell. Georgia Sadio Stevens. Graduating with honors, Devin Kyle Thomas. Graduating with high honors, Deborah Lee Stokum. Graduating with highest honors, Brooke Nicole Thomas. Graduating with honors, Hannah Paige Talski. Graduating with honors, Anessa Renee Thornton. Brandon Jamal Taylor. Graduating with honors, Kateria Marie Torres. Graduating with honors, Cody Thomas Terrell. 
Graduating with honors, Kiera Joyce Tucker. Graduating with honors, Ryan Johnny Thiel. William Allen Tyson. Samaria Lavashe Thomas. Graduating with highest honors, Laura Elizabeth Wade. Jasmine Marie Thompson. Graduating with high honors, Danielle Lynn Wagner. Graduating with highest honors, Jennifer May Tuck. Graduating with highest honors, Emily Lauren Walter. Graduating with honors, Hunter Alden Tuck. Graduating with high honors, Eric James Webb. Tina Tiagi. Robert Carlton Weldon Jr. Tiffany Lynn Vance. Graduating with high honors, Amanda Marie Wesloski. Graduating with highest honors, Rachel Louise Waffner. Monty Christopher Wilde. Nancy Walker Scully. Adrian Lamar Williams. Graduating with honors, Willie Mae Weaver. Graduating with high honors, Elena Sheree Williams. Devin Andrew Weber. Graduating with honors, Erica Marie Windishman. Joshua Patrick Welburn. Sarah Jean Wolf. Graduating with highest honors, Nicholas Connie Wheeler. Wesley Bo Zahn. Faith Bayon Wilkerson. Lydia, graduating with honors, Lydia Santiago. Graduating with high honors, Brique Delica Williams. Graduating with high honors, Tiffany Nicole Wilson. Graduating with highest honors, Alan Joseph Wise. Graduating with highest honors, Alyssa Lynn Yanis. Richard Lee Zimmerman. Class of 2010, would you please rise at this time? <laughs> Superintendent Yancey, would you please join me at the podium? Superintendent Yancey, it's my pleasure as principal of Vanguard High School to present to you the class of 2010. I certify that all state county and state graduation requirements have been met and that all receiving diplomas have satisfied all obligations. In accordance with the Constitution of the State of Florida and the power vested in me as Superintendent of Schools, I now confirm your graduation from Marion County District Schools. You may now move your tassels from the right side of your mortarboard. Congratulations, graduates. 2010.
Our final graduation activity will be the recession of the graduates. At the conclusion of the recession, our graduate, graduates will celebrate by tossing their mortarboards into the air. Members of the audience, you may want to prepare your cameras for this photo opportunity. At this time, I invite all those friends and family, please stand as the graduates recess out. Congratulations to the class of 2010. You are now dismissed.